14 thickness measurement. The measuring method chosen will depend on the combination of material and the issue in hand. There is no single standard measuring procedure that would be suited to measuring all coating thicknesses. There are two types of testing methods, destructive and non-destructive testing. The difference between the destructive and non-destructive testing is that destructive testing is conducted by damaging the specimen that is being tested. In contrast, during non-destructive testing NDT, the tested item does not suffer any physical damage and can be used in active operation after the testing. The non-destructive testing, the first one, X-ray fluorescent method. These measuring techniques enable us to define the layer thicknesses and the composition of individual layers, multiple layers and alloyed layers. It is also possible to measure coating systems with up to three layers at the same time or simultaneous measurement of the thickness and the composition of layers having up to three integral components. Advantages of these processes Virtually no restrictions on part geometry, accurate positioning of measuring point, very small measuring area, little time required. Measuring principle Combined interaction of the layer or layers and the subtract with the powerful X-ray beam. Measuring instrument Fisher Scope X-ray System XDL The next method Magnetic Inductive Testing or Magnetic Processes Measuring the thickness of non-magnetic coatings including enamel coatings on metallic substrates suitable for individual layers with thicknesses of 1 to 1000 micrometer and relatively smooth surfaces. The measuring principle of magnetic inductive testing. The measuring principle is based on the magnetic attraction between a permanent magnet and the substrate. And the changes in the flow of magnetic force field resulting from the presence of the coating. The measurable magnetic flux depending on the thicknesses of the non-magnetic coating. The next one, eddy current method. The measurement of the thickness of electrically non-conducting coatings on non-magnetic metallic substrates. This technique is particularly suitable for measuring the thickness of most oxide layers generated in the anodic process and with paint layers. Principle of eddy current method an eddy current is generated in the substrate by applying a high frequency electromagnetic alternative field the changes in the eddy current through the coating is a measure of coating thickness here below showing measuring equipments which are working under eddy current method the next testing method is destructive measuring techniques the first one light optical microscope common method of analyzing the thickness of many different layers using microscopic processes suitable for metallic coatings oxide coatings enamel coatings paint sprayed coating conversion layers depending on the type of coating and its thicknesses the exact coating thickness can be analyzed by the means of ground sample, spherical abrasion, or an oblique section. The equipment Incident Light Microscope The magnification uh, the between 50 to 1000 times and the stereoscopic microscope up to 100 times with the state of an art digital recording and image processing system ground samples one of the most frequently used method for measuring coating thicknesses is microscopical analysis this me method can be applied to nearly all type of coating such as metallic oxide enamel coatings paint and sprayed coating and many more this measuring procedure is well suited to coating thicknesses greater than 3 micrometer where the coating is thinner Measurement uncertainty increases disproportionately. For thinner coating, spherical abrasion or an oblique section should be used. And 
The microscopical method of measuring coating thicknesses is often used as a reference method for cross-checking and calibrating all other me measurement method. Measuring principle of microscopical method The thicknesses of coating is measured using optical method or the surfaces of the cross-section. Spherical Abrasion Test The spherical or micro-abrasion wear test is used for measuring the thickness of PVD, CVD or electrochemically applied coatings from 0.3 to 30 micrometer. Measuring Principle a rotating steel ball is used to upgrade a dimple-like recesses through the coating into the substrate. Through a projection technique, the coating whose thickness is to be measured is worn away in a broad crater. This crater is then measured accurately and the coating thickness calculated. For that, this equipment is used. Color test. Oblique section test. The oblique section testing is a variant of ground sample test. This method is suitable for thin, mainly hard coatings. By grinding the section at an angle, the coating thickness is visually stretched, which makes it easier to measure accurately. The precise coating thickness can then be calculated once the angle of the specimen is known. This test method is suitable for coating thicknesses less than 1 micrometer with a correspondingly low measurement uncertainty.